everyone welcome to she quotes she quotes is a video blog series of perfect where we aim to bring out the voice of super talented female coders not only it is fun to interact with them but it is very insightful too today in our episode number 3 we have a highly motivated lead engineer super confident likes to be challenged a blogger a data science enthusiast miss delhi davis Welcome to She Codes uh, episode number three. Hi, thank you, Swati. Thanks for interviewing me. My pleasure. So, uh, Dali, uh, tell me about yourself, uh, about your professional journey, and a little bit about your family. Uh, well, uh, I am a lead engineer with Geo, and uh, about me, I am pretty much I. like to keep myself well read that's kind of my hobby as well as my weakness because i tend to spend a lot of time reading and i also like to read uh, uh, novels which is pretty much uh, fictions and crime thrillers wow. um i lead a very healthy lifestyle <laughs> i which one is your favorite marathons, i go for sports sorry uh, sorry to interrupt uh, for now no problem agatha christie is one of my favorite Okay. and uh, i just just, just love her uh, narration like it's awesome interesting yeah so yeah and uh, i i am also trying my stint in blogging so it's kind of new right now but i am trying to learn how to be a writer a blogger yeah that's something i am doing uh, professional wise i have around 8 years of experience in it mm-hmm. and uh, currently i am lead uh, engineer with geo Uh, mm-hmm. prior to, uh, so prior to that i have worked with lot of product based companies service based companies mnc startup mid size organization uh, i i have worked with uh, most of the companies uh, like the range of the companies and uh, that that's pretty much the expertise that i have right now i am purely an ios uh, application developer but uh, i am also trying to become a full stack developer like Uh, a little uh, coding as well, so I thank you for doing the backend, and yeah, that, that's that's what my goal is to become a full stack developer. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Um, uh, so. yeah, yeah, it does. So, uh, how has been your career as an engineer? Um, you know, any specific thing that you would like to mention? Oh uh, yes uh, my career uh, my 8 years of career have been uh, wonderful and pretty nice and a few things that i have in mind and that i feel that everyone should uh, do it i feel there are a few things that i want to note it down maybe uh, one is always practice uh, a, pra- a practice should be to do a clean code because whatever you write or you check in into a code base code base or your repository is huge you are just one piece of a puzzle wherein you are committing something or you are just checking in your code so whatever you are committing you should be very proud of what you are writing or what you are uh, committing because let's say after 6 months one of your colleagues just turn up and uh, they are just trying to fix a bug or something of that sort so it should not end up that he or she is just trying to understand your code and then calling you 10000 times that what have you written or whatever Mm-hmm. instead of falling into that it is very smart to always write clean code and a code which is well, which can be well read so for that i have read a clean code book which is by robert c martin which is really a good book and everyone should read that uh, it gives you insights on how uh, like how a code or a method should be constructed how one method should do one thing at a time all these things are really important when you are designing a product or designing a feature second thing that i learned is unit testing unit testing is very important when you are developing something because as a developer uh, why would you depend on manual testing right because mm-hmm. unit test something that you should as a developer should practice always and should always do it 
so yeah i feel uh, that is second of the thing and always remember to reduce the cyclomatic complexity in your method which again comes back to my first point that your code should be clean one thing doing one thing at a time so yeah i think these are the uh, three things that i live by and yeah i would want to cascade it down to everyone yeah interesting interesting you you i i think you've been learning a lot throughout your journey uh, in geo and in previous organization so according to you how important learning is um, at any stage of career uh learning is very important like uh, i have 8 years of experience but that has never stopped me from learning like i started my career with uh, flash and after few months i moved on to ios using objective c then i learned little bit of xe ui automation then selenium ui automation which was purely in java then mm-hmm. i learned a little bit of javascript i know a little of soap ui as well now and then i learned android uh, went on to kotlin learned little bit of swift because i had to upgrade um then i have i have experience in react native uh moved on to learning python a year back for data science and uh, now i am trying to learn the python for developing back end apis so my journey has always been about learning because what i feel is uh, whenever you look back like when you whenever you retrospect even for a month like uh-huh. after a month you should be a better version of yourself like if you if your version 1.0 you should be version 2.0 the next month right Absolutely. so there should be some some update that should be there in even the new like uh-huh. learning is very important because your core skill always remains same it industry is very uh, fast paced like it's very agile if you do not learn with the new technologies you will soon become obsolete and it is so it is very necessary at what stage you are it doesn't matter learning is very important and that is the only thing that keeps me going always and that's why i get to learn uh, always i try to make sure that i add a checkpoint with every learning so that my graph is always going up it is like learning and learning that that's the only mantra that can give you success Awesome, awesome. So, apart from learning, any message do you have uh, for techies who are starting their career in technology space? Yes, uh, yes. So, when I passed out of my college, there was a a very good, like, good amount of shock when I joined an organization because usually what colleges teach you is not really what uh, an organization or an mnc is how how you are going to deal with right the work mm-hmm. is totally different the culture is little different so it just becomes a cultural shock when you're just uh, moving on from a, a college to an organization so i believe there are two things that would help you one is uh, you always have to make sure uh, that try to get on to an internship because internship internship helps you gain little perspective of how your organization works or how company works what are the things that you have to keep in mind because it is going to be totally different from the college uh-huh. by saying that i'm not trying to uh, uh, instigate fear in the kids but yeah but uh, i feel that th- there is a huge amount of difference when passing out from college and joining organization so internship is very important second is as i said learning is very important and that will be the curve that you that will be uh, coming at your point and every checkpoint you will have to keep on learning and improving yourself like there is no other way that you will be uh, able to succeed problems will come to your life it is up to you if you want to take it up as an opportunity and win over it right right and uh, uh, talking about uh, women engineers because she codes is all about uh, uh, women engineers how has been your uh, journey and what will your message be for them uh so uh, i feel uh, being a women engineer has empowered me a lot because it is up to you so we are in such an environment where is where there is gender biasness at times it just becomes unnoticed like it it has just become so common that people don't even realize that so i understand and uh, i understand there is gender biasness and i have faced it i would not say that i did not i have faced it but uh, like 
my family has always supported me they have always motivated me so i am very thankful to my family that they keeps uh, they, they, that they keep motivating me and uh, to fly high so one thing that my dad always tells me is uh when there is a problem there are two things that you can do one is you can complain about it and do nothing second is you can take that as an opportunity assess whatever options you have and act on it as soon as possible so that's the second thing that i always go by and it has always helped me like it is up to you like whether you want to take it as a problem and uh, just sit back and uh, think about it or mm-hmm. it is up to you whether you want to take it as a challenge and overcome it so my message to all the women out there is when someone tells you that you cannot do something just go ahead and prove it that you can because that's the best revenge you can do yeah absolutely that's the spirit uh, any quick uh, tips that you uh, have uh, for people who are starting their career as as an engineer um uh, starting their career as an much want to prizes uh learning in it is very important because it is something you easily get obsolete here Mm-hmm. and it it is very fast paced and very much going ahead so you always have to make sure that you are learning and improvising so every time when you are uh, working on something or you are uh, learning or you are starting a feature like you are starting to work on a project always think about how this project is going to help my organization to reach a goal so whenever you're working on a piece of work your colleagues would also be working on something right? right so you all are just a puzzle you all are just a puzzle towards a whole new project that you're working on or a service that you're providing so you have to take a step back and realize uh, the whole puzzle how it looks like and how you are contributing towards it because uh-huh. that gives you a whole picture of what you're working on and helps you analyze and come up with good questions when you're developing because it is very important when you're developing something you should have complete and clear idea of what you're doing otherwise you are you are like it is very likely that you will develop a uh, like complete error wala project so which is wrong so it is very important that your project is bug free or not bug free is not the right word but lesser prone to bugs right. so you have to always make sure you understand what you're building Mm-hmm. it is very important so yeah i think that that are the two things that would really help to kick start thank you so much for your tips and thank you so much for coming to she codes we really had a wonderful conversation with you and uh, we wish you all the best uh, in your professional journey and uh, thank you thank you for coming over thanks swati and i'm really honored that i could be part of she code and this is this is really great what you're doing here i mean i really appreciate for whatever you're doing like she code is like it's going to rock thank you so much all right take care bye bye